Joanna Sampraku, you're here representing the Greek government, the Secretary General of Telecommunications and Posts. So you've been here following the high level track today and yesterday. It's going to be coming to an end this afternoon. Uh, how have you been following the process? Has it been a, well, an enjoyable process, a constructive process? Uh, it has been a very constructive process, a long one, difficult, but yet uh, successful. Uh, we have been uh, uh, participating in all the multi-stakeholder preparatory uh, process, uh, which you know was very difficult to reach a consensus. But uh, we managed to do that uh, in very difficult issues. Uh, but uh, we really believe that uh, this is a very important uh, outcome of this multi-stakeholder work model uh, and this approach that has been adopted by ITU uh, all these years within the WISIS uh, uh, event. So uh, we really believe that uh, the involvement of all key stakeholders on uh, very sensitive issues uh, but very significant to the development of ICTs uh, globally, uh, this model worked and we should continue building on the same approach. So uh, we're very happy that for the adoption of the vision and the statement documents today. And as we mentioned yesterday on our minister statement, now we have the crucial test of working to uh, deploying all these outcomes. So all these issues of broadband development, of uh, uh, freedom of uh, expression uh, in the online media and uh, for uh, the access to data and uh, network security and everything, they are of high importance. And uh, in Greece, the ICT and telecom sector is a high priority. So uh, let me, if you allow me to say, we have also just concluded two days ago uh, the, European, the Hellenic Presidency of the European Council where very significant issues on uh, the ICT sector have been closed. Uh, these issues are very much interrelated with what is being discussed in WISIS and uh, what is happening here these days. So uh, we will try to continue to contribute uh, into the dissemination of these results and uh, also to adapt them in our country. So I want to come back to the two documents that are being endorsed today, in particular the statement on implementation of outcomes and the vision for WISIS 2015 and beyond. How important are those documents? What difference will they make? Uh, we believe they are uh, very important documents uh, because since they uh, signal a new phase in the ICT development worldwide because um, you know, they have uh, issues uh, like uh, the freedom of expression, as I said, and, uh, uh, and the media and uh, the ch child, uh, the, the women empowerment and the children protection online. So uh, they're very, very significant issues uh, towards the information society and including an inclusive information society, a meaningful digital economy. Next year is an important year. It is plus 10, 2015. What, do you, what themes do you want to be covered at next year's event? Oh, that's a very good question you made. Uh, we would really see that um, the e-skills development will be uh, covered, uh, which e-skills was also a uh, discussion here. And uh, we would like to see uh, more about the horizontal uh, impact of ICT in all aspects of economy. For example, in e-agriculture issues, and there were some uh, very, uh, very uh, interesting uh, workshops uh, in parallel with the WISIS high-level event, um, like uh, smart cities, and of course the the boost of uh, mobile applications deployment. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you.